Here's the concept we did in Photoshop using an AO and photo bashing techniques as well as um, some paint, paint over techniques. Um, I'll put a link in below if you're interested in, in how that works. But this is the uh, lighting that we're going to go for within Arnold. Um, so, you know, the main sort of light source is coming through this opening and uh, flooding into the area, hitting the ground, bouncing up onto a figure of Kong here. But we've also got these sort of warm lights coming from possibly, you know, a, a party of people entering the room and seeing it for the first time. Um, we'll also want to create some depth, so we'll have some light coming down around the back. But most importantly, we want to illuminate uh, the central figure, but we want to make them look uh, three-dimensional as well. So we'll, we'll put some rim lighting around, have the main key light, but also have some field light as well, illuminating the um, other side of the face. So let's get started. So in this scene, I've uh, got uh, the following, and um, basically it's a... A room um, that's sort of set up like so uh, using sort of the mash plugin to instance or create multiples of these objects all around and, and so forth and there's my light, main light coming through there I've already set up a animated camera which um, does that so this is how we're going to sort of you know try to rent render from and and see how things are going but first of all what I want to do is set up the hardware lighting. So to do that, I'm going to um, uh, create the main key light first, which is going to be a directional light. So I'll just scroll back a bit so I can see that. And the directional light, it's all about the direction that it points in. So let's have a look at the preview for this. So I'll turn on the lights like so, and I'll also turn on shadows and then by rotating it around, I can get sort of the preview of where that light is, where it's coming from. So I just want it to, um, looks like I've got snap turned on. So I'll just turn off. So yeah, now, now that I've just uh, got rid of the step snap, um, we can rotate it a bit more fr freely. So the idea was uh, that it's hitting the ground um, and you know bouncing up onto Kong, Kong himself um, and we sort of want to be uh, you know uh, interested in the light coming through the back as well where the positioning of that is um, so that looks looks fine for now so in this case the light source is a directional light which is coming from a long way away basically outside almost like a sun and coming through, hitting the ground, bouncing up onto the objects like, like so. Um, I'll now bring in some additional lighting. Uh, in particular, we'll bring in the sort of... Uh, I'll, I'll just use a point light for now. And this is going to be the fill light. So there's my point light. And I'll just bring him up like so. That's going to be the fill light to get rid of some of the the shadows on the or just illuminate the other side of the face in this case. Just press F to zoom in on that. And I'll call this fill and I'll call this key and I'll just duplicate that light as well, and this is going to be my point light, and uh, my rim light as on the other side of that. Now, at the moment, there's no decay on these point lights, so I'll turn linear decay on, and that's our rim, and I'll turn linear decay on that one as well. Okay, um, in addition to that is the lights coming from the, um, uh, the party that's entered. So we're going to use uh, area lights in this case. 
and I'm going to just look through the area light having the, the light selected and clicking panels look through selected so now I can see what the light can see so I can position it where I want it like so and I'm just going to duplicate that light as well and put one on the other side like so. With that I'll go into my animated camera and see see how that's looking. So it's it's basically the blocked in version of the lighting that I want. So I've just gone through and adjusted my lights um, and I've been using the light linking editor. So this is really cool because it allows you to uh, not only turn lights on and off but also to isolate lights that you want to work on. So for instance, if I want to work on uh, the rim light, I can click isolate and then it will isolate the light. So I'm working just, just on that. And I can even change the intensity through here as well as as well as the, the color. So um, let me just change that back. I'll press undo Z just to go back. Oops, not like it doesn't do the undo. Okay, uh, never mind. Oh. Just do that and I might bring it up by half half a point. Okay. So let's go back and isolate. Turn that one on as well. And come back in here and have a look look at us. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this. It's um, emphasizing the design using sort of directional lines pointing towards the, the character. Um, the character itself is quite illuminated. Uh, they've got the, that, this key light coming in and bouncing up onto the screen and so forth. And when I sort of scroll the, the camera through and I've got sort of nice, you know, uh, consistency of, of what I do want. Um, there's a couple of things that I want to point out though, is if we have a look at our material, I've just got the default material on, um, which is that sort of Lambert, and I have increased it to white so that um, when I light it, I'm not sort of, you know, if I decrease it down to sort of the um, default, which is about grey, we can see it's a, a lot darker and, and so forth. Now, it's true my textures are going to be darker, in the end however it's a good idea to light your scene with a, a white sort of material so that you don't overblow the the lights um, trying to make something uh, you know quite bright especially if it's um, you know got a pale texture or a, a, a very light value the the other thing I point out is um, I am having some issues with this area light I am having some issues regarding the uh, the light here um, if you notice up the top corner, it's sort of seeping through on this, this corner. And I've uh, attempted to uh, fix that in a number of ways, including adding extra geometry in there, flipping the normals and, and so forth. But um, it's it just seems to stay there. Um, so I'm not too concerned about it because at the end of the day, we'll probably change lights as well. So I might do that now. So instead of having a this one key light, um, I'll just bring up... Uh, light editor again and I'll get rid of that light and what we're going to do is I'm going to create some spotlights to come through the um, the windows so I'll just look through that spotlight that I created and I'll just zoom out of like so and what's nice about this is it's a pretty cheap light. Um, 
in regards to sampling, but you can soften the edges and, and so forth. So let's go back to our animated camera. Like so, and I'll just, if I click on this icon here, when the light is selected, I get this sort of indicator, which allows me to sort of control the direction of the, of the light. So I'll just bring this down till till I'm happy with it, and I'll actually I'll move it to towards the center because if I zoom out, you'll notice when I move it, oh, it's it's looking pretty good, but I don't want it to go right across. So I'll bring it bring the light in a little bit and maybe move it down play around until I get the same same consistency that I had before and I can open up the angle of the of the light which is probably a good idea but I'll move move it right back that's better so So, and then I'll just bring in a bit of fall off and a little bit of drop off as well. So it makes it look a bit softer through that window. So yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Um, let's go to perspective. And I'll select that light and I'll just duplicate the light and I'll turn off this uh, controller by just using the move tool now and go into perspective. And so I've got that light going through there, but I also want one down the back. So that duplicate one is going down the back now. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. And also notice that the sh that light leakage issue has now disappeared. So that sort of concludes our um, hardware 2.0 uh, lighting render uh, setup.